Hi all, welcome to Microbiology Central. In today's video, we'll be seeing about the different types of microorganisms. So microorganisms can be divided into six types, bacteria, fungi, viruses, algae, protozoa, and parasites. In today's video, we'll be seeing bacteria in detail. Bacteria are prokaryotes and they belong to the kingdom of protista. The size of the bacteria can range from about 2 to 5 micrometer in length and 0.2 to 1.5 micrometer in width. Based on the shape, these bacteria are divided into two types, cocci and bacilli. Cocci can be present as cocci in chains, cocci in clusters, cocci in tetrads and bacilli can be present as cocobacilli, kama shaped bacilli, bacilli in chains and as Chinese letter pattern. So these are the different bacterial cell shapes. So the round of the cocci are present as pericle shaped bacteria. The rod of the bacilli are present as rods. So there are also miscellaneous forms present. They are spirochetes. So these are spiral shaped bacteria and actinomycetes which are branching filamentous fungi like bacteria. Mycoplasmas are bacteria which lack the cell wall. The structure of bacteria. So the bacterial cell consists of various components, cell wall, the cytoplasmic membrane or the plasma membrane, cytoplasm, nucleus and capsule. So this is the structure of bacteria. So there is an outer cell wall, an inner plasma membrane and the cytoplasm which also consists of ribosomes. The pili are short finger like projections which are present on the outer layer of the cell wall. And also you can see the DNA which is the nuclear material of the bacteria and a flagellum which helps in the locomotion of the bacteria. And also a capsule layer which is present as the outermost layer of the cell. The cell wall. So the cell wall is a rigid structure which surrounds the bacterial cell like a shell. It is 10 to 25 nanometer in thickness and comprises of peptidoglycan layer and a lipid layer that makes about 20 to 25 percent of the whole weight of the cell. So based on the cell wall, bacteria is divided into gram positive and gram negative. So the gram positive bacterial cell wall has a thick peptidoglycan layer and a thick thecoic acid layer whereas the gram negative cell wall consists of a lipopolysaccharide layer which is a lipid layer and a considerably thinner peptidoglycan layer. Cytoplasm Cytoplasm is a colloidal system which consists of a variety of organic and inorganic solutes. Unlike eukaryotic cells, they lack mitochondria and endoplasmic reticulum. So, Thick semi-solid part, which is the cytosol, is a major part of the cytoplasm. They contain the ribosomes, mesosomes, vacuoles, and inclusions. In this image, you'll be able to see the ribosomes present in the cytoplasm and also the inclusion bodies. Capsule. Capsules are specialized structures present in few bacteria. They are bacterial secretions which forms the outermost layer of the cell and they enhance the virulent and act as a covering against antibacterial substances. They are also polysaccharide in nature. There are also other structures which are present in the bacteria. They are flagella which helps in the locomotion of the bacteria and are present only in model bacteria. The pili of fimbriae which are hair like projections which are present in every bacteria and are antigenic in nature. The bacterial spores also known as endospores and they are formed during unfavorable conditions and are involved in sporulation of the bacteria. Thank you so much for watching.